Supporters culture is important because it's what makes the game unique. Um, I think of the words uh, unity, solidarity, passion, intimidation. I think it's vital for the energy of the players uh, in terms of our home team uh, and our guys. I know our guys love it when the crowd's involved and, and the crowd's making noise and behind them, it's just that little extra push. They're, they're singing during the game. They're, they're making the water in Lake Ontario boil. I mean, everyone's getting pumped up, juiced up. It really galvanizes the players on the field. The more the crowd stays involved, it, the, the better that is for the home side. And so when our fans are going, it's, a, it's definitely a home field advantage. The, the South End supporters obviously have a tremendous impact on the on the team and on the game in the in the in the stadium. The atmosphere in, in BMO Field is fantastic when our supporters group is on their feet cheering. They lead the way, they lead the chance, they sort of demonstrate a level of passion that I don't think a lot of fans have seen in other sports in Toronto or North America. In 2007, it was Toronto where our supporters took the league to a new level. It was before Seattle, it was before Portland. If you look back, if you watch videos, you'll see that it really changed the landscape of MLS forever. So people see the supporters' culture and they're like, wow, I want to be a part of that. What are they cheering about? I want to cheer for what they're, they're cheering for. It's a unique part of the culture of soccer. You have these groups, hundreds, if not thousands of people acting as one, and it has a really, really powerful impact. For us, we want to control games and dictate games and impose ourselves on the opposition. We're going to want to need the fans behind us and we'll keep driving forward for them.